Hello and welcome to the 13th lecture for AC 1002. This lecture is a short lecture introducing the idea of the building envelope. So what, what do we mean by the building envelope? Effectively it's the, the barrier that uh, is placed between inside and outside. It's not necessarily just the walls, it can be a number of different elements, but it's the parts of the building which keep us warm, keep us dry, regulate air quality, uh, stop us hearing nuisance noise and protect us from, from the outside world. So when we're talking about the, the envelope, really it's a, it's a system and it's made up of a number of different components. The, Main components are the obvious ones, the, the wall and the roof and the floor elements. But we also have to consider um, penetrations or openings through the, the, the envelope and, and the elements that sit within those openings. So doors, windows and roof lights also have to perform uh, functions within the uh, element, uh, within the envelope system. And with all of the various functions, we have to think about this envelope as being a continuous barrier to the outside. So for each of the, the aspects that we'll discuss in this lecture, if there are any breaks within the envelope that um, allow one of those aspects to, to um, interact with it or pass through it, then effectively the building has a, has a hole in it. And this will be more obvious for, for, for some things than, than other things. So what does it have to, to do? We've got a kind of basic frame there with a little pitched roof house, um, a roof light, a door and a window. And within that, we perform various functions. We, we all live in buildings. We cook in them, we uh, wash in them, we sit in them, we sweat in them. And that moisture and vapour within the air has to be uh, stopped from entering into the construction by the way that we build the, the sort of inside parts of, uh, of the walls. So dealing with moisture and stopping it from entering the construction is one of the functions from the, that's required of a building envelope. Protection from the elements is probably the most obvious thing that you would think of when thinking about the, the envelope and the, the, the windows and walls and, and doors and roof. Um, we want to stop rainwater getting in, we want to protect the uh, occupants from UV light, we also want to protect the, the materials of the building from, from UV light. So the, the component parts of the envelope have to be designed in such a way that the materials are suitable for, for doing that function, protecting us from the elements. When we're in houses we prefer them to be warm and that usually means that we're having to, to heat the building. In very efficient buildings, the heat loss is, is reduced. In very old or inefficient buildings, uh, heat loss can be significant. So a well-designed building envelope can help prevent heat from being lost through the building fabric to the outside. And likewise, when we're, when we're in our buildings, we tend not to prefer nuisance noise from outside to disturb us. We don't like buses or traffic noise or to hear people passing in the street or to listen to roadworks. Um, so the materials that we choose for the building envelope and the details that we choose for how they are uh, constructed and, and joined together and uh, put together at junctions can help prevent noise from entering the building. But we also have to consider that there are other aspects of uh, the building envelope that um, we might occur to us, things like unauthorized entry or uh, damage. And this doesn't necessarily mean a stick figure with a hammer. This could be things like uh, birds coming into the building or wasps nest. So the way that we design things for the, the outside walls and roof um, we should be thinking about how the junctions work to prevent unauthorised access or the materials that we use or the components that we use. 
and it's quite common to choose windows and doors based on their security. Uh, laminated and toughened glass can help with security. Um, but it's not just that security aspect we've got to think about, but that is that is one of the components of an envelope or what the envelope has to, con uh, has to contend with. And highlighted by uh, recent uh, events, um, fire is a significant issue. We have to consider how we design the building envelope to protect our properties and ourselves from spread of fire, um, combustion of the the wall passing from one house to the next is, is an issue. So we have to think about how combustible the materials to the outside of the wall are. Um, likewise, we have to think about how we design the voids within walls so that fire from one part of a house can pass to another part of the house. And uh, later lectures will be looking at uh, fire stopping um, in order to prevent that. So how does that all come together into uh, a single element? No one material can perform all of the functions that the envelope has to do. Um, we, we can't install one thing that insulates, protects from entry, protects from fire, deals with vapour, and deals with, with water and the elements. So a wall or a roof is always a system. It has to have various component layers to be able to deal with that. And the way that we put them together, um, they interact with each other, they have to deal with the, uh, the, the, the failings of each other, um, but they become a system that, that, that makes the building envelope. And we'll go on to look at individual elements in the next, uh, in the coming lectures. Okay, so in conclusion, the building envelope performs a complex range of functions which need to be balanced in order to create a functioning building. No one single element can be considered independently. Change to one aspect will have an effect on the other. So aspects that you should take from this lecture are the core functions of the building envelope. So you need to keep those headings in mind as you look at the, the following lectures and following modules. And you need to consider that the envelope is a, a system. So a wall is not just a wall, it's a system of components that perform a number of different functions. So the next lectures we'll be looking at, at all those aspects in detail. Okay, thank you very much for listening.